What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, are my two buddies, Mike and Jesse. What up? How you doing? And today, guys, we're going to be talking about, that's it, the penultimate episode of Westworld, season one, number nine, entitled The Well-Mannered Clavier. Well-tempered. Tempered. God damn it. <laughs> the Well-Tempered Clavier. I knew I was going to fuck that up. Anyway, guys, what a bloody episode this was. Yeah, tons yes. of stuff, tons of stuff. But we're going to do something a little different um, than we normally do. Um, and we'll you'll get to that uh, as we go through. But first, Jesse, why don't you hit us up with what the hell happened in this episode? All right. Well, Dolores and Bernard reconnect with their pasts. Maeve makes a bold proposition to Hector. And Teddy finds enlightenment, but at a price. So, you know, oh, I short just, and concise. I, yeah, I just, it's so funny because I, I had read that before the episode started, before we watched it. And then now I understand, like, he he found yeah. enlightenment. Really, though? Did he really? Yeah, that's what I was, yeah. What, in what I way? guess he will when, in well, the next he episode. He did find enlightenment. He, he learned about about his, Oh, yeah, oh, he, the enlightenment yeah. of the fact that he, he was, he was working with. Wyatt, but then they Wyatt. had that whole other scene where he went back through the same town and killed more people as a as a Sheriff constable or, or something. something. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. So that that actually was a really good scene. I like that one. Uh, he goes through and he's thinking he's killing the uh, soldiers that he's with, the Union, but he's actually killing the citizens the whole time. Uh, Is that what that was? Yes. I guess. Yeah, that makes that makes some sense. Because she, she says, "But that's not how it happened." Oh, and then he's true. like, "No, that can't be Fucking how it really show is confusing." This was okay, <laughs> this yeah. Was so awesome, this was man. definitely a confusing was. episode. Not gonna lie, they, we, there was a lot of jumping. We were, we were like this. We, this is how we were. We were like, "Wait, what? <gasps> oh yeah, no way, what?" And then, "Wait, what?" It's They're like, confirmed. Well, They're confirmed. Yeah, yes. We're all figuring it out as you know, as it's very, as it's very cool. That was such a. It was it was a great journey. I mean, well done. Um, yeah. You know, I, I'll tell you, like, for me, they were like, I guess I'll talk about, like, my favorite kind of s stuff from the episode. But in general, like, all the Bernard Arnold stuff was just fucking like, we were like, yeah, 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 do it, do it. And what's awesome is that they didn't they didn't actually come right out and be like, hey, you're Arnold. They they, they played they with let it. A, they it let slowly us drooled yeah. out. And then we saw the picture and then it was like, oh, fuck. OK, Very Game of Thrones esque. Yeah. The ninth yeah. episode being the big reveal, the big battle, all that. Right. Yeah. It's always. Yeah. So HBO's got I guess that's the H, that's HBO's M.O. is is to do that. Yeah. Um, but I, I really enjoyed my. So my some of my fa so my favorite stuff was was with Bernard and, and, and his journey back into his memories and everything. Um, but the thing that got me the most was his son when he realizes that the his the cornerstone memory of his son has been holding him back yeah. from being completely awake, you know, and moving forward into the into his mind. And that that scene alone and the, 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 he's hugging his son and he's crying and he's telling and the son tells him, open his eyes. And he's like, what? He's like, open your eyes, you know. That scene was like, oh shit! Just that realization, like I have to let you go. Very fucking powerful. It was fucking great. It was so fucking, yeah. it was so well it's done. And, and cool. I think that's my favorite fucking scene, because it was yeah. just like it was just so powerful and what it meant for the character. Still um, leaves the question of what happens with Bern or Arnold, uh, and how he dies though. Well, well Dolores killed him. We find out well, Dolores killed we him, that, but we don't know but why or how. Why or, or how? Yeah. Well, like I said, I'm assuming just like. Ford used Bernard to kill Teresa. He used I don't see, I don't agree with that. Kill... I, don't, I don't agree with that. I don't think Ford did any. I don't think Ford had any hand in. I think Dolores just death. snapped. Yeah, you think? I think Arnold told I her guess to kill it, him. I mean, I I guess it. I think, I think Arnold theory. told her to kill himself. Yes, I think Ar Yes, I think Arnold, for some reason, don't forget, he kind of snapped, right? Well, um, I mean, his real son probably did die, so. Yeah, well, yes. that's why we well, that's saw the, that picture. Yeah, well, that's a corner. So he's like, "Why'd you that give was, this to me?" And yeah, but don't forget, you know. Uh, uh damn it, I forgot what I was Bernard. <laughs> Bernard. Oh yeah, there you go. That's cool. Yeah, I just feel like Bernard had a like a he had a. There was something going on, like you know what I mean. I I think that he had, you know, he was instrumental in his own death using. Yeah. 
um, Dolores. But also, okay, so we we come to see that those scenes where he's training Dolores to to think freely. Yeah, you it's know him being Arnold. That's Arnold, and I know you guys probably felt it too. But those scenes always felt different to me. Like it didn't feel yeah. like Bernard, because as we got to know Bernard and then those scenes and they, and they're great cause they stopped them. They stopped them halfway through. We stopped yeah. seeing those scenes and he let her, and, and we assumed that it was Bernard letting her go free. And, you know, we had yeah. mentioned it, but I mean, just, just crazy. The, so obviously Dolores was his like first subject of trying to get, one of his many first subjects yeah, that looked like in that church. Good point, because he did say, "Oh, so those must be well, they all the those they must be all the sentient the originals." Ones. Yeah. So yeah. he they says, "I'm going to go Dolores ahead." Was the first one. He says, "I'm going to." He tells Ford. Bernard tells Ford, "I'm going to go ahead and free all the all the sentient ones." Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. so maybe those. Maeve, were all Maeve the ones. was there. The 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 one that um we saw that greeted Will eventually in the white the sexy one with the white dress. That was also with Teddy. She was in, you know, in there in the church. There was a lot of them are in the. In so the, okay, in. so guess what? Guess what? Maeve, that that girl, the one that stabbed Teddy, the one that knocked out and and strung up, uh, Man in Black, William, sentient, William. We'll get to that yeah. in a second. That's why she led. That's why she was talking to Teddy in that way and was able to yeah. tell him. Right. Knew, so, so knew the past. all of a sudden we've got like four fucking sentient fucking hosts. Maybe more. That's just. Well, no, hand. I mean, just no, what scene. we saw, dude. I'm like, yeah, so what well, we no, saw right, yeah. in this episode, we got the yeah, four. It's crazy. Now, it's did crazy. we see Teddy? Teddy's not sentient, but she's waking him up. So, so well, like, I kind of think he is now. Well, maybe now, but then also so is Hector because Maeve woke him up. Or was starting yeah. to wake him up. Like that's yeah. the process. And I think Hector woke up, and I'm pretty sure Teddy did because remember, um, he remembers shooting her and killing her, and he says that's not possible. Right. Yeah. And she's alive. So. I don't know. Crazy, what'd you, what'd crazy, you guys crazy, think? Crazy, what'd you guys? What, what, was, what was something that got you in this episode, Mike? You go. What did you think? What'd you get? Uh, I mean, I myself, I really did like the the Bernard. Um, going in and and seeing the vi- I think that was just like you my favorite scenes with him and and, and Son, Ford yeah, yeah learning and, and just learning overall that's the biggest question what were the biggest questions that we've been trying to figure out this whole yeah. ep- season is who Arnold is who are these voices that are in um, Dolores's head and and uh, you know where where are they leading her to and yeah I mean I did also kind of like the will. Um, Logan thing. I love oh, the Will yeah, Logan stuff. Yeah, let's talk and about that, that stuff because that was that was cool too. Yeah, that was a good reveal. It's like, uh, did you guys catch that? Uh, it wasn't the new like skeleton underneath uh, Dolores's skin. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. yeah it, that... it was all those tiny parts that the Man in Black was talking about. Yeah. yeah. That's what yeah. that was. That's not that. That's because she's one of the original. And she's not refined, and it's all just just garbage in there. It's all fucking. I suggest we make a move to call Man in Black now Old William. Old William. Yeah, okay, old let's William. do it. Yeah, you, I'll second that emotion. Yeah. So yeah. Old William. Yeah, talk about that. Let's talk are you, about. Are you so emotional, baby? <laughs> god damn it! Oh my god, I just edited that video, dude, and it was like it was like three times I did that, and hashtag so emotional. It's good yeah, stuff, man. God. It was good stuff. So yeah, Will uh, William stuff though, man. That that was. Awesome, yeah. like yeah. Well, those we theories, see... the theories are correct, right? Yeah, yeah, all the theories were confirmed. Yeah, we get to see this one scene though. He goes crazy overnight, and he like dismantles all the Confederate AI, mm-hmm. and he like leaves one's arm with the rotator cuff still going, still moving, and all. yeah, that's great. I love that scene, and I really love the one where Old William walks into the church, and Dolores is like, "You." Yeah. Did she say I couldn't hear you? We were like talking. Did when did she? What did she say right before he walked? She in? said right before that, William. She did because okay. apparently he went yeah. into the church after. Yeah, yeah, okay. I, I wanted he to make sure. He must have yeah. found her. Young Will must have found her in that same must have position. You know, however many years back. Yeah, yeah. It's just everything just got tied into it. You know, everything 
all those questions, all those those you know, so many loopholes. Now everything kind of got like fruition. You know? Everything kind of like yeah. So why don't we do this, Jesse? Why don't you why don't you run, why don't we do it a little more succinctly and let's run down the list of the stuff and we'll go one by one. Of the uh, talking confirmed, about our confirmed confirmed theories. Yeah, let's talk about the confirmed theories that that happened. You want to talk? You want to do William? Let's do Man in Black first. Let's do yeah. the two timelines first because we got a little okay. bit of that okay, being yeah, confirmed okay. last week, but 100% confirmed this week. Not yeah. just by William being in two different places, young and old, but by Dolores. the picture uh, that uh, Dolores's original father found. Right. Yeah. Which was and, uh, William's, William's wife, wife's fiance, yeah. wife, soon to be yeah. wife. It was yeah. really cool, man. That was crazy, oh, right? Yeah. 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 So that and that... like right then that snap is like confirmed. Yep, yep. Absolutely. So that was definitely one of them. Um, and yeah. then what it was in uh, as far as William's concerned, he finally opened up his jacket. He's wearing the shirt. He's got mm-hmm. the Bowie knife. He's <laughs> he that that's it. He's uh, he talked about the game. He goes, I finally understand uh, what I, what I have to do or how to play this game or whatever. Yeah. That's when it first clicked that it was him though, because yeah. he started saying it's a game. Yeah, and that was so cool. It was just okay. So not only did they did they confirm a lot of things, it was just done so great. Was yeah. It was all each one was like, oh yes, oh yes, and. It's like, even though we got them confirmed, regular, like other shows, you're kind of like, ah, oh, yeah, all right, oh, yeah, okay, I knew it, we knew it, blah, 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 let's move on. No, this was like, yes, we're like happy that yeah. even though we kind of knew it, it was really cool. What, so what was another one um, that we had? Uh, Logan's not around because William's yeah. now the CEO. Yeah, that's true. So that's the biggest, well, that's, that's oh, probably the biggest question. Delos. Yeah, that's probably yeah. the biggest question, because where where is Logan? What did Will do with him? You know, did we saw a sneak preview of Logan in the after well, credits? Yeah, yeah. Uh, he he's next to a pile of Confederate soldiers. He, oh, you know, he might be dead or he might not be. He might just not be around anymore. He might have left. Kind of hope he is or something. But so. Yeah, I that mean, could be what she found out that he did in the park that made her hate him. Maybe, but she hates Logan anyway, though. Who knows? It's no, 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 not Dolores. I'm talking oh. about William's wife. Oh, his wife and daughter. Oh yeah. Oh, he's a monster, and that's his we brother. We mentioned brother. It last week. Yeah, maybe she's that was maybe her she's brother. blaming him. Yeah, maybe there was a way that that maybe Will did kill him, and or maybe he got, got away with it somehow. Maybe. Yeah, that that too, and maybe she blamed him, or she never truly knew exactly what happened to her brother. And he just yeah. kept going back to the park, and I feel like yeah. he lived with Dolores or something it, for a while. It could be the fact that man. that picture the was at are... at Abernathy Farm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like I he feel buried like... it, or she buried it. We yeah, don't know. Who yeah, put it there. I feel like and that... the gun, and the gun was buried. Yeah, remember hey, Dolores that... found oh, the gun. Oh, was that his gun? No. No, 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 that was her. Gun. her that was her, her gun. gun. Yeah. Okay, so there's still a little things back and forth, but I think I think if we ever yeah. if we really focus, we could you know we'd figure it all out because obviously yeah. the timeline yeah. changes, especially at the end. We with... have three timelines actually. We got well, Dolores, Dolores anyway, talking with Bernard yeah. or Arnold. Then we got Dolores we first and gen, William. Do it like this first, first like first year Dolores. Then we have like. Yeah. Um, yeah. Then, then you have what? Then you have like mid-year Dolores, and then you have present-day yeah. Dolores, or something like Dolores that. Dolores number one, Dolores number two, and Dolores number yeah, three. But First generation, all... second generation, third generation. She's yeah. walking yeah. through her past as we're following her, and it's the costume changes that are the cues as to yeah. what time it was, as as well as the environment being grimy or well, clean. It's or... partial both, because remember, she's wearing the same outfit in the last timeline. She is in the middle timeline. Yeah, true. It's true. like, yeah, she has those two outfits. It's, yeah. it's post- you know, uh, when she was waking up every morning with her father on the porch, yeah. pre, I should say, and then post, you know, waking up and leaving her loop and leaving that uh, initial area where she yeah. used to just be stuck yeah. in sweet, sweet water, sweet right? Water, sweet water. Yeah. yeah. And that's when they just, uh, you know, originally Will and her went on this quest and where she decided to break free and she was able to shoot and she was able yeah. to, to so hurt. Yeah. Was there any other any other theories? Uh, Bernard Arnold. Arnold Bernard. Yeah. That was, the anagram, uh, Bernard Lowe, Arnold Weber. Yeah. He, um, uh, yeah, that, that was a big one, wasn't it? 
I like I, I you know again we were sitting here going do it do it do it and then like they they just kept teasing us and it was still a shock yeah, yeah. um can we just can we just give a shout out to the de aging of fucking Anthony Hopkins that oh looked my God. good. That two looked, different sets of de aging. The younger, the younger version of him when, when Dolores he was by, walking. Remember that looks yeah, so they, good though. It's it's really cool how they just do because, that. They like, probably the take this young man. Stuff. Yeah, they take yeah. probably this younger man in his thirties and thin, his forties and, and just trying just... to crop on the the main features yeah. of of Hopkins. You know, it look good. Yeah, man. Uh, nowadays forget about it. They could put they could put a female head on on my on my body and it It'd would look perfect. real. You or they saw can Civil put War. A, did you guys see Civil Mike, you didn't, but Jesse, you saw Civil nah. War when they de-aged Robert Downey Jr.? Oh, fan- yeah, yeah. It looked fantastic. That was great. Yeah. Um, but, like, that nowadays. middle tier Robert Ford, yeah. when he's not young, but he's not too old, Yeah. that one was real cool That's because they did something yeah. slight to make it in the AI Bernard's head, and yeah. it gave him a somewhat robotic tin to his voice. Yeah. He, uh... That, oh the, yeah, when when he wakes up, and he and after after creating Bernard, and he says, "What do you want to be called?" He goes, "Who am I?" And he's like, "Well, you're you know you were my oldest friend or whatever," and he's I like, "Give you the same name." Yeah, yeah. he's like, "But no, he's how about why don't we give you a different name?" You know, so yeah. just fucking, I gotta go watch it again. I gotta watch that whole episode again because it's just awesome. It was just really really good. So all of those all of those series confirm. Um, I wanted to just mention. I wanted to mention Dolores and how. I always felt her story was just different than everyone else's, right? Yeah. Because, okay, so we're, we saw the origin of where that came from. So she's been living with this persona, and 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 having to f- like try and be free for so long now. Now that we know that it was before Arnold yeah. died. And that was 30 something years ago that he died. She's been like this. And it's just now that's that's like and it like it just keeps bubbling to the surface, but only ever so mm-hmm. slightly. Yeah, yeah. So now her story is making a little more sense to me and is actually more interesting than it was before. And I just enjoyed watching her flow through because, again, I mean, I've said this a bunch of times now, but all of these guys, all these sentient hosts, they're all they all have their a different way of doing things. Maeve is creating a fucking army and, and trying to uh, wake up other ones um yeah dolores is doing her thing uh now we see these other hosts that are already sentient teddy's on his way to be sentient we have the yeah. the hostess girl who is the blonde who is who is sentient and working with wyatt but you got to remember this wyatt shit ford is making this happen this isn't this he made this yeah yeah uh, it's so, crazy so it's wyatt not like it's not like oh the they're awake town that's it. Exactly. Yeah. So it, like Willie, old William said, I'm just going in a circle, right? Yeah. Ah, uh, God. And there's one more scene we didn't talk about, but I really enjoyed that end scene with uh, Bernard and um, Ford. With the, uh, oh, with with the, the glow on the okay, camera. Yeah, a gun. So- oh, with the gun. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> well, Take it over. Uh, yeah. I can't speak. Well, you know it's how... So it- Go ahead, man. No, no, no. I was just gonna say, it just goes to show how how many steps ahead Ford, Ford is. Right, is. that's what I was gonna say. Because it makes it yeah. look like he's kind of like, oh shit, Bernard yeah. got him. Bernard got him. Yeah, no, yeah. But it no. was all well. He gave him a choice. He wanted to see what Bernard, how Bernard would react to the situation if he would decide right, to yeah. say, no, I'm not gonna go look into my past. I'm not gonna go, you know, look into these past uh, reveries, memories, whatever we want to call them. And I would just go back to being your your loyal servant, but of course he doesn't do that, Bernard. Yeah. You know, and Bernard and Bernard wants to see where he came from, um, who he you know possibly. And he let him. He's like, "Why did you let me do that?" Then? Yeah, he gave him the choice. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. He's like, he because I thought option. you would. Yeah. Yeah. He says, I thought you would, by your own free will, become my partner again. Again. Because, but yeah. now I see that that just won't happen. Yeah. So then why did he okay, so then he makes he makes him kill himself when he leaves the room, but why to why? You could just could Because he doesn't just, want to see it. But no he no no no. It looks no, like no, he's but, gonna be trouble. You think he couldn't just fucking reprogram him? After this, I, I, mean, I assume not. It's happened before though. It has, he said both that, Bernard yeah. says it 
and we know it because Ford just keeps wiping his memory. Yeah, he said we've had our he's different, never our been differences this, in the past. He says he's well. never he never knew Bernard never knew this much of his past before. But Ford just revealed it to him. So Actually, maybe I he think feels he has, like. Though. I don't not to this extent. No. no, I think I agree, Mike. No. No, I don't think to that extent. No, this is never. This I don't is think he's ever new. gone back into yeah. his brain. He the whole situation with his son and that whole scene and everything. No, he didn't know any of this stuff. Yeah. He just recently knew that Ford that that he was a host. So I. But think... see, he said, "I'm going to try this again," which made me think back. And, and now apparently, I'm not like tying my tongue up, so I'm going to say this real well. I hope. Uh, thinks back to the loop theory that all humans are just like the host and that they tie into a loop. Right. Okay. And he's I, living I, the same loop that he's been for the last 30 some odd years. I understand what you're saying, but I don't think to this extent Bernard ever knew uh, the full. Maybe not to this extent. You know what I mean? So, no, he, he, he didn't. So Biggest now, question, I who's think... the third man in the picture? What's that? I think third yeah, man. Who's the third man in that picture? It could it be a host? It could be like one of their hosts. Maybe their first. Maybe one of the. <sighs> that's true. Maybe the, one of right. the first. Right. I, I mean, that's what something. I gathered. But yeah. again, that's that's going to be something else. It kind of looked like. Well, it wasn't Abernathy in the picture, right? It wasn't Abernathy. No. no. Uh, Why don't we, um, uh, Jesse? Was you it said the bartender? You, you uh, no. Uh, that's our next question. Now the bartender has a beard and everything. Maybe that's uh, that's one of our next uh, yeah, next well, questions. Well, you know, we've got more stuff. But hey, guys, we got yeah. one more episode still. But wait, now Jesse, you said you had some theories. I don't really have any theories as of right now. I'm oh, sure. I already gave my theory yeah, about. Yeah, I um, got over all those earlier. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, I don't even remember what it was. Like that tongue-tied stuff. You had it last night. Now I'm tongue-tied. I know. Yeah. I know. No, but I mean, it just raises a couple new questions. Like we said, what happened to Logan? Who possibly is that man in the picture? Yep. Um, what is the new narrative? What's what the, is yeah. it? What's what, it? Why? What, is, what? What does it entail? Like, why is it? Yeah, because he does. But um, Ford does tell Bernard, "I need. I'm going to need your help. We have the new narrative ready." So I'm assuming that the that old town was ex excavated. Yeah. Already. Are there four right? timelines? So we'll drive yeah. ourselves crazy Four? going through. Like, <laughs> Four timelines, because could Wyatt be happening after all the Bernard stuff? Uh, you want my brain? No, textbook? because the man in black is there, and he's and he's. Does that matter though? Huh. <laughs> uh, I've turned, wait. So uh, you're saying? So you're saying? Okay. So all the man in black Teddy stuff. Is a fourth timeline, and all the Bernard Ford stuff could be a third timeline. I don't in the think so. I'm, I don't think so, and I'll tell you why. Because we saw when Teddy's got oh, his new backstory. True. Yeah. But again, that's not to say that that didn't happen. Over. I don't know. It's not to know. say that it's not a few years apart, like maybe yeah. three. That might be throwing a little bit of a wrench in it, though. I don't know. I don't think they're gonna go too too. I mean, we didn't think they'd like go too, that. too crazy into this now, did they? No, but they answered no, but all the questions plenty. that we've had. But think about it. In right. one episode. But think yeah. about it now. Are we done with Dolores' trip down memory lane? Now she's with the oh. man in black. She's, you know, William. We're going to um, be on that. We're going to be on that same timeline. So now we're yeah. on there. We see, yeah, what's that about, right? Like, Yeah, her grave. <gasps> did she crazy. die and he buried crazy. her? <laughs> Wait, she died and he buried her when he was younger. And Could've. she came back. Could How would she come back? Well, they always come back. Technicians they, come and get they her. Retrieve their body. They, and they fucking come back. Yeah. Will's gonna bury her, and then the technicians are gonna come kind of. and, yeah. and unbury her. Why not? Without him. Remember, because he thinks she's different. Yeah. I don't know. And it obviously, she obviously <laughs> she was hurt. Remember, yeah. she got cut I mean, up. We go on for and hours. She's like, not anymore. Going crazy in man. the future. So back in the day, Logan fucked her up. So anyway, yeah. Lots of stuff. You're right. We could literally, you know. Yeah. How about this? After after the season um, finale, do a video we'll do or like something. we'll do like a yeah. what the fuck video. We'll just do like a WTF video, you know, and uh, we'll go talking about all the what ifs for season two that's been confirmed like two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, anyway, Ooh, so, all right, so is that is that is that it, guys? We're not gonna we're not gonna yeah. go to crazy because we literally could sit here for two hours and talk about it. But I think yeah. I don't think we're gonna do that. We'll, we'll do that after. The, we'll do that after the season. We'll though, do it right? after. We'll do it like a two hour fucking episode. But my big. Oh, we didn't my... talk about Maeve. Yeah, she does some stuff, by the way. Oh well, we we, <laughs> well, we spoke we, about we, her. we mentioned that she 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 wakes up Hector and she they they end up having sex inside of a burning tent because 
We didn't um, mention the sex part, but yeah. Wow, that's, that's all, all right. she did this She wakes him up. No, we she find controlled out what's Bernard. Oh, yeah, that's right. In the beginning, Bernard was trying to control her, and she's the one that wakes up Bernard. Yeah. That's a good point. Thank you for pointing yeah. that out. She's the one that wakes up Bernard or puts the bug, the plants that seed into his head that, that he's a host. And then yeah. he, and Bernard sees how her abilities and attributes. How did we gloss stuff. over that? Who did this? Who yeah. did this? Yeah. You know, because there was so, well, there was grown, so much there was more. So much. <laughs> yeah. I will say that's one a key detail. One thing that I did yeah. like that Maeve did was when she when she approaches Hector and explains to him what's about to happen in his loop, his story loop, and he's like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" And then experiences it, and he's like, "Oh yeah. shit!" Like, oh, immediately yeah. believes her. I loved it. Yeah. Opens the safe, nothing in the safe. Really I, cool. yeah. He immediately yeah. believes her, and I thought that was cool. So we have Hector and Maeve gonna, you know, they're they're gonna wake up back up in the up in the control area. They're like gonna, they she's gonna up. wake. They're gonna, you know, they're gonna get up. They're gonna, they obviously they go down to level eighty two, and they and I don't know what, and she sees. Um, she's gonna wake up Clementine, all those remember? Commissioned, uh, yeah, she sees Clementine and she she's in the room. With dead Bernard. And she's gonna see Bernard. Maybe Bernard's not dead. I don't know about you guys, but that looked weird when he fell. Maybe he didn't shoot himself and he made it look like he did. I think he sh shot himself. Uh, but yeah, normally, himself. what would happen with a host? The engineers would take them and repair him, and he would be back on the floor. Yeah. Now, no one knows, number one, that Bernard is even a host to begin with. Right. Except so, me. He's going to go down there. Well, yeah. she'll know. She, exactly, exactly. So we'll see. You know, it looks like next episode is going to be good, and maybe those, maybe the the um, you know those decommissioned uh, hosts down in that in that area will come. Remember, I had said in the beginning, I think maybe there'll be something big with them, like the army of the decommissioned robots. I think I yeah. said in the first couple when they first put Abernathy and um, who was the other guy that they brought with him? Uh, Stephen Hawking's partner. Yeah. And they brought him down there. I had said that maybe there'll be some kind of uprising with these things. You yeah. know, yeah. But we'll see. It. That'll be her army. That'll be Maeve's army. Steve Dog. Steve Dog. You know, they gotta have a fucking. <laughs> we're gonna have. We're gonna have a hundred hosts with Maeve at the at the at the helm, yeah. running through and taking care of business. Because she can program all them. So crazy. She can. She can yeah. And what, aren't they wiped? They're like wiped. They're blank uh, slates. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. she might even be able to program them to hurt and to kill. Yeah, humans. You're right. Yo, this is, this is gonna be crazy. It's gonna be good. I know. It's gonna be real fucking. Good. I don't think they can fit it all into one hour episode. We'll see. <laughs> I don't know. We'll, we'll see, see what happens. Let's wrap but it anyway, like that. let's wrap it at that. Yeah I, yeah, I think I think I think we're gonna I think we should just we should pull the plug on this right now. Yeah, because we're gonna mention something else and go into another yeah. ten minute I discussion. Think we, guys, if we did miss anything and you want to continue the conversation, you know what to do. Leave a comment for us and we'll get Absolutely. back to you and we'll we'll continue the conversation in the comment section, which I guess is basically what that section is made for. So uh um, Some people don't know that. <laughs> yeah, saying that some people think it's just for trolling. Anyway, if you guys want to get to us, you want to um aside from YouTube or you wanna follow what we do, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Facebook. Uh, we post all the other stuff up there too, um, as well as some other you know uh, cool stuff like on Instagram and everything that goes to our Twitter. You can get it to us at Third Person Pod. Um, I think uh, is that is that I think that's going to be it. If you like comic books, can I just give Pretty a quick sure. shout out to Comics Noob? Of course, you can. of course. Uh, just if you guys if you guys are into comics and you guys are reading are reading uh, specific comic books right now, you can check out my other podcast that I do with my nephew Alec. It's called The Comics Noob. You can get to that at The Comics Noob. Um, on any of the same social media sites or you also on iTunes and SoundCloud and YouTube. So if you want to get to that, um, it's a show we just talk about comics, uh, you know, starting with first issues and stuff. And we're reading a whole bunch of good ones. And this week's this week's was really good. The Flash, we had Batman Beyond, Kingsway West, a fucking great, great comics. So uh, if you're into that, go check that out. I, I want to try and get some more people over there. So if you if you would be so kind or if you know someone who listens to podcasts and likes comic books and all that, send them over there. So that's it's that. down in the description. It's in the oh, that's true. It's in the description. Um, all right, guys, I think that's about it. Uh, it's uh, it's late. We've done a lot of talking, but two late uh, episodes in a row. Yeah, oof, yeah, we work our butts off for you guys. This is, this is pretty, you know, it's pretty yeah. crazy. But we love doing this. This is this is great. This these these two shows are fucking great. And, yeah. Um, you know, I, I will say as we end this, I'm really happy that people like Westworld. Yes, I'm really happy that people do. Yeah. I know people are finding it a little confusing, but I'm, I, a majority that I find is that people are just like really, they're liking the show, and I think that's fucking dope. So, 
like when we first thought of doing even Westworld, always still doing Fear the Walking Dead, I was like, eh, maybe. Not sure, not sure. But that was cool because it was a new show. And we're like, maybe yeah. we kick off. Yeah, yeah. You know, I know. And then we, we all watched watch the movie it. and we liked it. Yeah. Uh, we will have to watch the sequel of um, Future, Future World. World. Ooh, good that guys, 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 Oh, guys. God. Oh, my God. <laughs> let, let, let's not get into this. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. We'll talk about this off right camera. Okay. We might off camera. Video. Yeah. All right, guys. So, um, as always, uh, uh, my name is Chris. I'm one of your hosts. And with me, as always, are my buddies. You see them right there. That's Jesse and Mike. And um, I don't know why I was introing them at the end when I was supposed to be outroing us. Uh, it doesn't all right. matter. Guys, thank you so much. We love you. We love you. Thank you for all the support. We really do appreciate it. For all our regulars out there, you guys are fucking awesome. Thank you so much. Go tell some friends and family members to watch this show. Because it's fucking awesome. Yeah. Because it's fucking awesome. All right. That's it. We're going to see you next time. Everybody have a good whatever. Peace out. Peace out.